Can you hear me and see? I can hear you, but I can't see you. Oh, you can't see me? Yeah, you need to click your camera once. Now I can see you. Yes, I can. So better you ask as many questions as you want. I'm ready for answering your all the questions. Okay, sure. so good evening, Kishordi. Uh, good evening, Madhuri. Thank you so much for uh, accepting to have a conversation with me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm also privileged. You reached uh, out to me, so that's uh, my privilege actually. So let's start our conversation. Do you have any topic in your mind or we should have this general conversation? What do you say? Uh, so I have seen like uh, some of your videos. You're making like really, you know, the videos you make are very happy. Uh, you feel like listening to, you know, that's how it is for me. I felt it. I think you are a teacher. Uh, you have been a teacher for quite some time. So I want to know, like, you know, uh, how it is being a teacher. OK, so you want to know my experience being a teacher. I am going to share with you. But before that, I want that you please introduce in short about yourself so that my viewers can know that who is on my channel today. Absolutely. So I am Kishore. Yes. So I am a YouTuber. So this is uh, the second channel that I started, which is English with Kishore. The first one is Net Learn English, where I do cartoons and then I make like stories. I show both in Hindi and English uh, so that people can learn English from that because I feel uh, movies or uh, videos are a powerful medium to learn language. I'm from Hyderabad. You are from Hyderabad. All right. So I connected to many people, those who are from Hyderabad. So nice to <laughs> include one more person from Hyderabad. OK, so as you asked me that, what is my experience as a teacher? Uh, I was very lucky to work in very good schools. I don't know whether I feel those schools good or those schools were really good. I don't want to mention the names of those schools because I don't know whether copyright or what. I'm not yes. aware of all those things, but I had been working in different schools and all the schools were very good. And the school is never a good place until or unless the teachers and the management and the students are not good. This is what I feel. So I had a wonderful students. And wonderful staff. So I taught for quite some 32 years. It's wow. not a short time. So, but every day was fantastic for me, uh, for me, and I was so amazed to go to my school. I was passionate about entering to that school. Many teachers used to say, in the morning, I feel like not going to school. But I always uh, think that how come they feel this, that I don't wish to go to school. I always loved going in the campus. And yes, it was a fantastic journey. I still miss that. But yeah, nowadays I'm busy, so I can say that sometimes I don't get time to miss those days. But in the beginning when I got retired, I was quite upset, you can say. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, uh, feeling like that I, uh, I can't control myself. Probably I'll again join the schools. But yes, my children didn't allow, so I'm working online. Okay. This is, <laughs> yeah. I think... Yes. The reason why you felt everything is uh, great and school is great, students are great, it's not because of them. I strongly feel it's because of you. I can see you are a very happy, calm and pleasant person from inside. I think that's what is uh, making a difference. It's not them, but it's you. Uh, uh, you remind uh, me of a teacher. Uh, I had a uh, biology teacher in uh, grade 8, 9 and 10. Uh, her name was uh, Shailaja teacher, you know, she, you remind me of her. The impact she had on me is I love biology only because of her, the way she taught uh, biology. It's I think uh, it's the teachers who make a difference for students to learn a specific language or a subject that they are the ones who make a huge difference. I think it's you. It's not them. That's what I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This is a kind of uh, your good heart that you are appreciating me. But no, I was lucky enough to really have wonderful bunch of students. And yes, I loved always being in that campus. Always. That's, that's amazing. So what did you teach there? 
I used to teach English, but yes, of course, as you know that in schools, uh, not only one subject at times you are given different subjects as well. So I used to teach even history, geography also, but English was my core of interest and I, that was my main subject to teach and very especially grammar. Wow. And as you, said, uh, yeah, as you said that you are a good person, so you are thinking that you know, as you mentioned that you, you loved biology because your teacher was fantastic. You loved that teacher, so you started loving her subject too. Yes. So when I left my school, I got retired. My students used to message me, ma'am, uh, ever since you have left the school, we are lacking the interest in grammar. We do not understand no matter even principal comes and teaches us. So, like, why don't you do something for us? Why don't you take online classes as you are taking during COVID time, this, that? So I said, see, it's not possible. Now I have left. So now for some time, I feel like that I have some social responsibilities. I must spend some time uh, with my family because 32 years, yes, of course, I was totally isolated. Totally isolated. I was totally devoted for my school, my students, my career and everything. So uh, that was the reason I started this YouTube channel. After retirement, I started this channel just for my students. Uh, yeah, but now this has become my interest. Now I love doing this. So I'm selfish now. I'm doing for my interest. I think yes. uh, there's nothing like being selfish because uh, we need teachers like you. Uh, you know, there are many people who can't go to school or there are many people who finish their schooling. Uh, but still have issues learning English. I think through your videos, uh, you know, you can reach like wider amount of uh, number of people. And I wholeheartedly uh, wish that your channel becomes a huge hit so that many people can get benefit from it. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that, the reason why I'm saying that, you know, uh, the, uh, why I chose English uh, YouTube channels is, I saw many uh, channels, I don't want to offend them, but I feel like, you know, they are not teaching the right way. Like uh, they, they themselves are like uh, making mistakes, grammatical mistakes, sentence mistakes, sentence formation mistakes, and the pronunciation mistakes. I think we need teachers like you who train the next generation or the people who want to learn in the right way. So you deserve, I, I honestly feel you deserve because I have seen some channels who have like millions of subscribers, but I feel sorry for the people who are watching because they are uh, learning wrong things or in a bad way. So we need uh, the teachers or uh, learn uh, uh, English, uh, spoken English tutors like you to become more popular. I would say that's when India will go to the next level. Thank you. Thank you so much for your feelings, for your expression. I really love it. But yeah, I, I don't know. I have never been in this habit of watching YouTube channels or even I don't watch much. TV too. So I have no idea about the other channels, how they are working, how do they do it. Yes, I started watching YouTube when I had to learn editing part because nobody is with me to teach how can I do editing. My children are not with me. They are grown up. They are busy with their work. Okay, so that time I started watching. Yes, of course, I too watched some of the videos and I found that some people are learning and they are uh, trying to upload those videos. But yeah, I think somewhere they have mentioned that they made this channel just because of learning. Uh, so I must suggest people that they should think and they should choose the channel which they want to watch, what exactly they want to watch. If they want to learn something, then I must say that they should watch something which is really fruitful, which is really good, which is really beneficial. They should not, once you get into some any bad habit, any bad thing, any sentence structure is fit in your mind. It's very difficult to remove it from your mind. Yes, and this is what I too feel, but it's OK. Uh, there are so many channels people can watch whatever they like. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we can't force anyone, but I just feel like you know, when someone is uh, teaching someone, other people like uh, we should teach the right way, right? So that's my. But how difficult was it for you to learn editing and all? It's not easy. For example, like my parents, they struggle a lot. <laughs> I they struggle a lot even with the uh, WhatsApp and all those things. Now they kind of got used to it. But how did you from that 
level to like you know the way you are saying like you are doing editing, uploading, and you might be doing like conversations. How how difficult was it? My dear, it wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy. It was very difficult. I must say, I was somewhere about to quit this job. I was not willing to do it because I knew that this editing is not a cup of tea for me. I can't do it. But yeah, gradually, I don't know how come I just started exploring bit by bit. Uh, I made certain mistakes also. But yeah, gradually I learned. I don't know how come. <laughs> but yes, I learned. And once I learned, I feel that I started exploring something new every day in every thumbnail. Uh, every time I learned something and it's working, I have to learn so many things. I know. But it's okay. I'm just managing. It was very difficult. It wasn't easy at all for me. That, that's good. So yes. in your... Once I knew that this conversation can happen only on Skype, so that time how to uh, deal with this Skype app, that was also not easy for me. That also took quite a lot <laughs> time yeah. to understand that how can I do it? How can I call someone? How can I record it? And after recording, how can I get that video in the gallery? <laughs> so yeah. everything was very difficult for me. Yes, I know it's a big learning curve for sure. So in okay. your opinion, like yes. uh, I know, like we don't have much time, like one uh, question I would like to ask is like, how important do you think is grammar to speak English? Because the reason why I'm asking is, you know, when we are when we speak our mother tongue, uh, no one taught us what grammar is. We just start speaking or we are being corrected. But whereas English, why do we need to learn grammar? Do you think my question before I answer your question? Sure. Do you think we speak Hindi all the time correctly? Do you ever think? Uh, no, have no. Ever, I have I have come across many people speaking wrong Hindi too. Have you ever noticed people say chai ban gaya hai, chai ban gayi hai, chai pilo, chai ban gaya hai, chai ban gayi hai. Both you must have heard. If what is right? Who will tell you what is right? Chai ban gayi hai is right or chai ban gaya hai is right. We accept it and we assume that it is right because it's our mother tongue. Yes, we know it and we think that we are 100% correct. Yes, actually chai ban gayi hai is right. Chai ban gaya hai yeah. is no, no sentence. Yes, dahi khatta hai ya dahi khatti hai. Uh, mirch, hara mirch or hari mirch. We sometimes make mistake. Yes, so to speak any language, no matter it's Hindi or it's English, if we want to speak correctly, if we don't want to make mistake, we must know certain rules and regulations, certain rules of grammar for speaking any language. Yeah, you can say that as we are in touch of this language, Hindi, so we fluently speak without thinking whether we, uh, I'm right or I'm wrong. But when it comes to English, we always think 100 times, I should not make mistake. If I make mistake, people will make fun of me, these things. So I feel that at beginning, when you just want to speak and you have certain words, you should start speaking. But yeah, sooner or later, you must know grammar, at least to certain level, like articles, propositions, tenses. I don't say that you need to know direct and indirect speech. It's not that very important. It's not important to know all the idioms and all the phrases, but to some extent, to beautify your language, you need to know grammar. This is my opinion. I always um, try to say this, that my channel's name is Grammar with Manju Ma'am, and people always ask this question to me, that ma'am, is grammar really important? I, and I always say, yes, it is important. Uh, the other people should not think that she's just promoting a channel. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I, think, I, uh... I, honestly feel, I honestly feel that grammar is important because um, I feel that I learned through grammar. I had no fluency. I just knew uh, certain rules. I knew if I want to say this, I need to speak in this way. But once I started speaking, this fluency came because I knew grammar rules. I knew that what I have to say for this structure. So that is important, I feel. I think if, you have we a are, if we are surrounded by all native speakers, then it's not required. 
but for us hindi speakers i feel it's important i think that's a very valid point i agree with you yes yes so being uh, being english i think you are also a teacher of english if i'm not wrong uh, i am not an english teacher so this is like uh, you know i've been speaking english for quite some time it's only like you know i started these youtube channels so uh, i feel uh, I wanted to get into YouTube somehow. I chose English uh, to be that medium. Okay, okay. So that oh, I was thinking that I will also ask this question to you. That what do you say in your opinion whether grammar is important or not? Has grammar some role in speaking English? Yeah. What so thing is like uh, though I am not an English teacher by profession, I love the language because I. i make sure i speak the correct way and you know how what what is the colloquial way how they use it how they say it so in my opinion grammar is important but uh, only up to certain extent because i feel like you know once someone starts speaking english we don't think about the grammar rules if someone you know there are uh, people who say like you know when you uh, make a sentence formation it has to be like you know the subject uh, preposition and then uh, the verb or things like that but once we start speaking we forget all those things yes i feel grammar is important but to certain extent but beyond that it's more like observation you know mind is lot more powerful than we think so when we observe how others are speaking then we grasp it and then we start speaking automatically yes but for that what i feel we need to practice more and more yes yes for that we need to speak most of the time we need to think in english we need to speak in english we need to polish our english every now and then so that's important yes i actually learned through grammar so i feel because for us there was no environment that's true we did not have tv we did not have google we never had youtube we never had mobile so for us one big thick book that is dictionary and then our syllabus book just as a subject we studied english that's true. we never had in mind that in future we have to become a teacher and then i have to learn these rules it was never in my mind but yeah we just had uh, like maths or hindi or english in the same way we were dealing with this subject also but uh, yes speaking part uh, it's different now the era is like that that everywhere wherever you go like you go to the mall you go to airport you go to railway station everywhere people are speaking english so yes. you are connected to this language so now you can say yes we can speak without knowing grammar yeah that yes, makes sense we, yeah when we were speaking even hindi people used to say she is becoming angrej if we used to speak hindi also properly people used to say she is becoming angrej now because uh, local language uh, if you do not use people think she is trying to uh, show off that she can speak mai gayi thi mai khai thi like this if we say people used to say that oh she is uh, making her hindi artistic so that was our time actually yeah it used to happen a lot like that before where people used to pull others leg if they do if they want to learn they'll be made fun of if they want to try something new they are always made fun of i think things have changed now everyone is kind of like open minded where uh, even people who want to learn they don't mind or they don't care much about others i think that's the attitude one needs to have to become a very good learner now actually the uh, people get environment yes, yes. they are getting environment um, uh, like i too taught my uh, children in uh, english medium school or convent school i taught in convent school but i studied in a government school so you can understand oh, what a drastic change wow yes. i studied in a government school today uh, if people say that you admit your grandson or granddaughter in a government school i won't like it will not do it yes so you can understand that time has changed and yes. learning english has become essential and people are trying their level best of course they are getting environment if you are listening now you say people say that keep the subtitle on while you are watching a movie we never had tv that's true <laughs> we never had tv how can you say that keep the subtitle on and learn understand yeah yeah so 
was the time. So my feeling, my experience would be different from today's generation. I'm just sharing my experience. No, I, agree. Cannot... I totally agree with you. <laughs> uh, it, it may not suit for uh, this generation. They will say that she's simply talking about grammar and all these things. But yeah, anyhow you learn. I feel yes. knowing any language is always good. I always say that I learned Urdu in my childhood. That was not important. Being Mishra, I never had to use uh, Urdu anywhere. But I had strong love for different languages. So I learned Urdu too. Wow. So if you, if you have desire to know anything, any language, you can go ahead with. Yes. Yes, totally agree with that. Yes, now the person is calling, calling and calling. Okay. <laughs> sure, it was lovely conversation, Manjuji. We'll uh, talk again sometime later. Thank you so much. Have a sure. great day. Bye. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye.